I'm a little bit late, but we've got the Archangel Directive Event trailer. It's here for Season 5. Listen up, Notepads. Archangel yeah, phase 1. Are online. There are multiple objective points. <clears throat> Failure is not an option. Fuck! Enemy! Do not come right. back empty-handed. Let's move! New S far. Phase one synced. New transmitters online. Right, let's have a quick look at that again. Right, so clearly it's an objective base mode where you're pushing from point to point. Don't like how A3 hears why that in the open mode would be better if it was inside the building, but right, and then phase two, you move from B1 to B2 to B3 in a straight line. Online. Oh, there's gonna be vehicles. I hope it's not 4v4 again. It's not gonna be, is it? Phase two complete. Don't let up. Oh no, not the wildcat. That looks cool though. Blasco skin. Not that many people use her. Right, hang on, let's have a look at these. Right, new skin for the M5A3. Looking nice, but the weapon's a bit underpowered at the minute. New Falk headgear. Revival still not enough. The only problem is, is when you have this sort of headgear, you can't apply it to the like for yellow or gold. Alpha Z getting a game, which is kind of annoying. Oh, G57 skin. Looking clean. This is the last objective. Take it. So chaotic, man, but how many players? Try limit to 25th, got plenty of time. Oh, here we go. So we've reclaimed Orbital and Valparaiso. That's such a weird mix-up, but I like the fact they've added Valparaiso in there because that always plays good. Yeah, 24 first, 24. There we go. That's the player count. So we'll clean the satellites, sync for telemetry, earn combat vehicles. So you earn the vehicles then by doing the objectives. Week one rewards, then week two. Okay. Ascendant weapon, ascendant warrior. And the Archangel bundle, which you can obviously buy. I mean, overall, this, this event looks fun. Don't get me wrong, but... I thought there was going to be more rewarded items in this. I swear there was more with the last event. I swear there was more. I could be wrong. But the headgear, I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of because it only applies to outfits where they're like, but they're not gold. And if you've got a gold outfit, you're going to run it. So that's kind of annoying. It'd be nice just to see Falk or another specialist just have a straight up sort of gold tier outfit or something like, I don't know, it's it's just, it's for small things. Things like that, I would have preferred. I like how it's going to cycle through these different maps. I assume because it's for two weeks, the first week will probably just be on Reclaimed and then the second week will probably be on Orbital and Valparaiso. I'm going to assume because that's what happened last time at Swap Maps. I, oh, oh no, I could be wrong. I swear at Swap Map, I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. I don't know. I'm hoping from the start it's just all three maps though and it cycles through all of them for the first two weeks. I could be wrong again. I hope that's what happens. And again, like this happened with the last event and I said it. They had such like a good foundation for like a new game mode. The shutdown event, like it was great. It was it was like a competitive twist, you could say. And it worked really well on maps. Like it got a little bit boring after a while because we were rinsing and repeating it for the ribbons and to get the rewards. But it was such a fun game mode and they made them assets and stuff. And I don't understand why DICE removed it. And this again, this could be great. This could work really well as a new game mode. Just make it a permanent game mode. We can have more players than just 64 player and 1 to 8 player conquest. Like Exos Conquest, which I think they've got rid of now because I've seen some of the portal maps are now in Conquest 64. I could be wrong. I haven't, I just haven't cared to even check. But we could do with more playlists, stuff like this, like a shutdown event should have been permanent 24 7. It was such a great, fun game modes to play at times, especially when you had like a decent squad. Obviously, it was 8v8, but like when you're playing, like it's more, it's more team based and it's smaller. It made sense. Shutdown should have stayed. And I hope that this control game mode plays great as well. And it's obviously, it says up there, it's limited time mode. Stuff like this, they need to keep in the game because it, it adds more variation. I don't understand why they only have a few playlists going on at a time and then they remove them. There's so many good playlists that I've enjoyed. Like infantry Breakthrough. I only play Breakthrough if it's infantry only. That needs to be on a 24-7. But again, shut down and this new control. Just make them permanent. There is no reason not to. Even if the player base is low, who cares? We like to have the option there. The combat vehicles as well. I hope they're not going to be too overpowered. I mean, everybody knows anyway. The Wildcats, which are an anti-air vehicle, just decimate infantry. Um, obviously, we've got a whole vehicle loadout rework come in. It's annoying they didn't push it out or have it ready for 
the start of season five because it's still irritating to this day to have all these transport vehicles just decimating infantry with with their 20 millimeter cannons and the wildcat needs like a significant nerf when it comes to against infantry because it's i think it's going to get its own category um and i don't know what they've got planned but at the minute the wildcat just it's ridiculous against, inf against infantry and it shouldn't be and the cab ruler as well and i'm going on a bit of a tangent here cab ruler needs a nerf to speed and health if it's not going to have a nerf to health it needs to be speed because that thing is far too quick and it takes too much to destroy it and it's super overpowered with its weapons as well it's ridiculous can't believe nothing's been said yeah i mean we got a cool skin here a blasco it is what it is it is a bit of a shame but we, we, we're not getting more um it, it is what it is uh, the main thing for these limited time events and stuff mid-season is that the game mode seems to spice things up. The game modes are what's bringing sort of some freshness to the game and action, and that's what I like. Now, these, game, these game modes, they, they had a lot more flavor to the game, and this one could be very decent for a 24 versus 24 player. I'm just hoping that the attacking and defense is sort of balanced a bit because this map can play very heavily in favor on conquest of the russian side again i've said this before if you've got a good team you can always pull through as the american side yeah the rewards are definitely underwhelming but i'm just i'm, I'm looking for the game mode to be honest july 11th what day is that no, it's next tuesday so i'll definitely be recording i was supposed to be playing dead island 2 but i'll play this instead but yeah rewards <laughs> underwhelming as usual just how it is i feel like things could be better uh, game mode looks amazing because it's going to spice things up. It's, it's very rare that we have a new game mode. It's only these mid-season events. So I'm looking forward to that and I'm just hoping they keep this in. And I hope they had shut down back because what a waste of assets it is and planning and organization to make these game modes. But I can't, I can't wait to play this on Valparaiso as well. It's gonna, I reckon it's going to play amazing. Valparaiso is an incredible map. I don't know how the three different lanes are going to work though. I guess one you'll be pushing up or down that hill through the villages and stuff. Yeah, look forward to it. That's the Archangel Directive. Brutal Honest review. We could say it's Brutal Honest, but it is what it is. It's a trailer. We can't do much of it. And Dykes know how to make a good trailer. <laughs>